Hi, first of all, please excuse my voice and appearance today. I have a pretty bad cold, which is very untimely uh, because I'm preparing to go to Vienna for a long weekend. So I have a big mug of blackcurrant Lemzip, hoping to get into this without too many sniffles. <sighs> oh yeah. Right, okay, as you can tell from the title above, I am packing to go on a winter getaway. It's going to be a long weekend in Vienna, in Austria, to visit my sister. So I thought I would take you along and pack with me for the trip. I filmed one of these a few years ago when I went to Disneyland and I hadn't filmed anything like this since. I thought why not in case anybody else just need a bit of inspiration or just want to have a bit of a nosy. I'm going to be taking this suitcase with me as my carry-on um, because I don't really want to check in luggage when it's only about two and a half days that I'm going um, and also it's a lot more convenient because I land about 10 past 11 and I really don't want to wait around for my luggage for ages so I'm going to try and pack as much as I can in there um, and hope for the best. But first of all I don't normally pack this but I have a sleeping bag inside uh, the suitcase. Whoa! That's my gym done for today. I'm staying with my sister who is actually studying abroad so she only has a single bed and also I can leave it over there so when she's got friends staying, uh, other family members staying around then they've got that as well so she's not all hunched up in her bed. Um, so yes normally I'd have a lot more room so I've had to work with whatever I've got left but yeah. <laughs> very hard especially when you're a Mary Poppins like me and just try to jam in the kitchen sink but let's start off with the most exciting part which is the jumpers now I adore jumpers uh, basically I just like to wrap up like a marshmallow whenever I can because I get deathly cold I pack this big old turtleneck also a big fan of turtlenecks a uh, long jumper with me I bought this from H&M so many years ago I'm surprised it's still wearable to be honest but it's just a cream coloured knit it's quite long so it's more like a dress so I thought it's quite a good one for day to night uh, and it's very very snuggly um, and yeah I just thought it's a good one especially because I'm bringing a long uh, brown coat and I thought this would look quite dressy next to it also please don't judge me on my folding skills because my mum says it always looks like a uh, <laughs> dishevelled cabbage whenever I wrap fold things so this is this is what I'm going to do. It's probably not the most efficient way of packing either, but there you go. Next up, I have a second knit, and again, it's a high neck because you just got to keep that neck warm. And this one is from Zara. It's a bat wing sleeve, which I love because I like flapping around like this, pretending I'm a bat or a superhero. Um, and also, it's very, very comfortable as well. Again, relatively dressy, so it's good for day to night. Um, and it it's just, I just love it so much. I bought this at Hong Kong Airport, but I'm pretty sure you can get this in all Zara stores. It also comes in with a cream colour, and it's just so super soft. Um, and it's not too heavy as well, and I think it's very, very flattering. It's quite light, so I can easily pack it up, and it won't take up as much room as my cream coloured friend over there. So I'm going to put this in. Um, and then my third jumper that I'm going to be wearing, I've actually borrowed it from my sister and I haven't asked her yet so I need to send her a message after. But it's this cropped navy uh, jumper um, from ASOS and it's got a cute detachable collar with cute little hearts on it. Adorable, preppy, love it. It's great for layering up and you could put thermals underneath and people will be none the wiser. Right, so three jumpers to last me uh, from day to night for two and a half days and then for the thermals I love thermals I really recommend Uniqlo for thermals because they're good looking ones you can wear them on its own you can wear them layering up it's super thin it's got this brilliant heat technology it's not sponsored I wish this was because <laughs> I'd have thermals for days um, and I just freaking love them I really really swear by it so first of all I've just got this kind of crew neck basic one again I wear this a lot by itself as well when I tuck it into skirts and jeans and stuff it's great and it's so thin look my cabbage method uh if there's a better tutorial on how to fold up your clothes please tell me my mum would be for forever grateful and i've also got some leggings as well to wear under jeans or under tights or something because austria should probably mention this is very very cold right now and also i've got another thermal top which is actually back to front because i've just brought this out from the wash and apparently if you wash it back to front it's meant to keep the quality better. I've got this high neck thermal which again is from Uniqlo. Again I wear this all the time um, with skirts and things like that. I absolutely adore this um, and it's only about $12.99 as well so I'm going to wear this underneath the high neck jumpers and be very very warm and cosy. And then time for the bottoms. I have some leather look jeans that I'm wearing at the moment and I'm also going to be bringing one pair of shorts to wear underneath the dress 
uh, knit thing or from going to the evening with some heels and stuff that I'll also be bringing with me. So I love leather, now this is probably not the best choice for a winter getaway but I just I just love the look and I'm just going to layer up in terms of having leggings and then the tights over so my legs will be well covered but it's just got a bit of texture and stuff as well which I think is quite nice when you've got a winter knit and then you pair it with something a bit more striking like leather. Also got a new pair of tights just from Boots Forte Dernier. This is it so far, pretty jam -packed but luckily the suitcase has an expandable bit which I wish my stomach had and then for pajamas I have just a YouTube space London uh, oversized t-shirts I love oversized t-shirts for bed because I could just pad around and it's very comfortable and you know it's just letting everything breathe and I'm gonna put that in the inside pocket oh I've also put in my intimates in there already so I've put in my bras and pants and that kind of stuff and I thought I wouldn't show you what I'm wearing for underwear because we're close but we're not that close um, also I have my shorts for bed normally I just walk around pretty much half naked but I don't think my sister would appreciate that so I've bought some Marvel pants which will go underneath the t-shirt which actually arguably are basically pants and then I've got a few pairs of socks and they all are Christmas puddings actually this is mismatched it's embarrassing I don't know why I always wash my socks together but they always get lost so yeah this one's mismatched but this one's got a pudding one and I've got one with Rudolph on and gotta get in the Christmas spirit. Oh, oh, okay, I have also have two hats in case it's really cold and then I don't want the heat to escape from my head. I'm gonna put that oh, on over the top of the jumpers. Oh, okay, makeup. So I've got my makeup bag here. This is an Aula Keely one which I bought from New York years and years ago and it's just got all of my dry products so my powders that shouldn't be in there uh, brushes sharpener that kind of stuff and then in this bag I've put my liquids in there which I'm actually going to store uh, in my backpack Ta -da! so I can take it out easily as security and then transfer it over to a plastic bag and stuff and then just use this afterwards so I'm gonna put that one here uh, I'm gonna put the powder stuff inside there I've also got a box of jewellery and this is a tip from my sister actually because she buys a lot of jewellery from ASOS and she said to keep the box and then keep the bubble wrap so your jewellery is protected and you know what you're bringing so I've bought a few pair of earrings with me this one is my particular favourite because it reminds me of curly whirlies and I've also bought a few more pairs of earrings I've bought like a necklace bracelet thing um, oh my gosh I love these I bought these from Zara pom pom hoops Look, have you ever seen anything cuter apart from yourself? Finally, I have an extension cord. Now, I don't know if anyone actually usually brings this. I learned this as a tip from my best friend Hannah when we went to Orlando. Genius. I don't know why people don't do it more often. Genius. So, I've already put in the travel adapter for the UK to Europe one. I have so many things to charge. I have two different cameras, a laptop, a phone, straighteners, that kind of stuff. So, this comes in so handy and it means you're not fighting for the plug uh, when you get to your destination so I'm gonna put that on the side so it doesn't take up as much room yeah. and then finally a pair of straighteners uh, these are the GHD platinum ones great it's got the heat guard as well which is great for people like me uh, who don't who always burns themselves um, and yeah good for straightening your hair good for curling your hair and sometimes when you don't have an irons good for clipping the side of your sleeves to make it straight and yeah so that is me all done and I've also got a backpack here which is going to have my laptop my camera my mini tripod the electronic gear that I like to keep on me and not wheeling around in a case passports money that kind of stuff is normally here um, but the majority of that the other stuff is packed in here sip it up and then I'm good to go oh in terms of the other liquids, things like deodorant, like mini travel ones, shower gel, that kind of stuff, uh, toothpaste, I normally buy it at Boots for three for two um, and I just finish it all up when I'm there and then just leave it so I don't have excess bulk um, and have too many things uh, at customs when it go through the liquids and stuff. It's ready to go, ready to be sipped up and... <laughs> boarding that was a bit cheesy I'm gonna try and squeeze all of this shut now and then head over to the airport I'm gonna be filming a few videos when I'm there in Vienna very very exciting because I'll be doing this with my sister I haven't seen her in so so long um, and I'm just beyond excited to see her I hope you enjoyed this quick little pack with me video oh that's not 
actually that heavy. Um, so hope you're having a one. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, take two. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon or evening and I shall see you in my next video. If you enjoyed this video, please give a big thumbs up if you did because it really helps me out and it's amazing feedback to know if you enjoyed uh, the content or not. And leave me a comment with any packing tips that you've got, especially with uh, folding clothes. And if you're new to this channel, hit subscribe for more travel, food and lifestyle content and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!